How cool is this thing? Your own personal four-stroke engine that's on a stand that you can put in the house or put in the office and annoy the shit out of someone. Imagine that, you're in your office, you just start it up. I'm an idiot, I know. What's up guys, Steer again from RZ Tanks and Trucks 24-7. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, heaps of cool stuff coming up. And if you like the video, give a good old thumbs up. Now what we have here is the FS100. Now this guy comes on a stand and you just got to put it together. Everything you need is here on this kit. The stand, it's really heavy, like nearly weighs a kilo. The aluminium fuel tank, the FS100 motor, the starter mechanism, the glow plug, everything you need, even the batteries to, uh, for the mechanism. All you need is fuel, and that's it. Now, if you're interested in this product, the links are in the description down below. Go check it out. It's pretty cool, pretty reasonable price too, in my opinion, for what you get and the engineering that's involved. Anyway, enough talking from me. Let's go unbox it, see what you get, and start putting it together. Now, I have opened it quickly uh, when I got it because I was just super pumped, but this is how it got delivered to me. So first up, your electronics for your starter motor and also your glow plug, as you can see up there. Your glow plug, and that is a F-type OS plug your push button start and your little uh, lever to you know control the throttle. Two 18650 batteries and that'll be to start your uh, starter motor and also to ignite the glow plug. Various hardware, more hardware, fuel tubing, instruction manual, nothing you haven't seen in other videos. Okay next up we have our instruction manual. This one here is in Chinese. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory but if we go to the next page there you can see this one is in well it's much clearer instructions and it is in English so it just basically tells you how to put it together your lever there, your cell box or battery box, fuel tank and all the electronics underneath just like that and it goes it's pretty much steps one to eight. Mounting the engine, there's your plate, mounting the throttle or it's got a rocker arm and uh, your fuel tubing and you are good to go. Right, now we have our base. Now this is, this is really heavy. It is a solid piece of aluminum or aluminium as you can see, wow, check out that. It does look nice too, look at that. The quality of these are really nice, I must admit. And here's your little throttle arm. It's got a bit of nice resistance to it, so it's not just flapping around in the breeze. It does actually stay there. So, you know, when you want to throttle it up, it won't, uh, you know, move with vibration. So that's pretty cool. Cut out for the starter motor. Really cool. <laughs> check out that. But that does weigh, well, maybe, I don't know, just over half a kilo, something like that. Maybe even more. Here we have our fuel tank. Now if I don't use this later on, I'm gonna rob this fuel tank and put it on one of my cars. Aluminium fuel tank, 90 mil, and it's got, that's your fuel gauge obviously. Pretty cool. Fuel cap, and uh, wow. Aluminium, really nice. Next up, as this is a full ready to run kit, it uh, all you need is nitro fuel, pretty much. Here is the uh, charger for your 18650s. So that's pretty sweet. You don't even need a charger. Everything is ready to go. Obviously, they can't really ship with fuel, so it is a true ready to run. Get this box out of the way, and here is the awesome FS100A. This will be my fourth motor, I think. I love these little things. They're fantastic. Now, you might have just seen my one of my recent videos where I actually put one together, and that was really cool. So, as like the uh, other instruction manual, we get a, another instruction manual for the motor. and won't go too into detail of the motor. If you want to see a build video, please uh, see that video. It's got your, uh, basically it's got some grease, some gaskets. You need to install the fans on the front of the motor and I'll show you that right now. Because the motor when it needs to be looking like this with the fans at the front. This is how you get it. So there's not much to it, you just put on the fans and uh, that is pretty much it. And also, sorry, the starter motor on the side. Now on that, the starter motor is this little guy here. It's a brushless it's a brushless motor. Very cool, very powerful as well for the size and it does a fantastic job spinning the uh, motor over. Here's your belt to attach the starter motor to the starter pulley on the back of the engine just there. And also your little pea shooter exhaust. Now that is an easy step, I know that, it just screws on. Just like that, so that's, that's one of the steps done. There you go. That's it, so all I need to do for this is install the fans and install the starter motor, but I'll do that off camera. I'll get that ready, and then we can start on this base. Now this throttle lever is already done for us. So step one is already complete. Now step two, 
we'll install that fuel tank and uh, we'll move on from there. In step one, yes, that main throttle lever was installed, but there's also this part that needs to be installed, and that is the linkage from the throttle lever to the carburetor. And that just slides in down there and locks in. And you need to lock it off with a small little um, bolt. But I was going to do that later when the motor's installed to make sure everything is cool, but that's easy to get to and no biggie. Step two is installing this gas tank, and as you can see, I just put one screw in there just to hold it in because it's a bit hard on camera and all they are is a little countersunk screw you could put Loctite on these if you want because it is a little nitro motor so that's going to be you know, vibrating a fair bit but you know, it's up to you guys yeah. nothing to it start a motor and then installing this battery box underneath because this obviously is hidden and it makes it all sit nice and flush on the table that's what's really cool about it that's why it's a nice display piece. Alright, now that was pretty easy. I just didn't want to bore you with it. Basically, 19mm nut for the um, little switch. Put that in there. You have two red wires uh, that you need to just feed into the switch there. And that's it. It's, it's pre-soldered, easy. You can't make a mistake, so put that in there. You've got your ignition system that runs through here. This larger groove is for your three wires for the starter motor. That's for your brushless motor. You have a nice little channel here that pops up over here as well. That is for your earth which attaches to the side of the motor and that is for the glow plug and basically everything is routed nicely and the cables are good lengths so basically this one is going to go right on the side and that's to earth it and your glow plug bingo bango right there and obviously when I put the starter motor on they're going to be just there so that's it three bolts to attach the motor to the frame but that's all so far so good one and a half millimeter countersunk screws just here there's four of those holding that battery tray in. And it's easy too, you don't need to undo anything or like move any uh, covers to undo the battery. So that's easy when you want to run it, pop the batteries in, when you want to stop it, pull them out, like you know, after you finish having a play. Pretty damn sweet, if you ask me. It does look really professional and really, uh, really high quality. I'm liking it. So I'll get the starter motor on the motor. Basically, it's going to go like this. So I can actually put this guy on there just like that and run it. Plug the uh, existing wires in, and that one will be ready to chooch. Okay, there is the motor. Really easy. Install the starter motor. It's got like a little spacer just down there. It uses two screws and uh, this belt. You've got to make sure it's nice and tensioned and when you kind of spin it, it doesn't want to walk off. That's one step. Next step is installing the blades and that is super easy. You've got to make sure the direction, that's the direction it needs to be. It shows you on the instruction manual anyway. And before you run it, you can open this head up, uh, the cap, and it's got to make sure it's got grease on the cams. That's about it. Like I said, I've got heaps of videos about these, so I'm not going to bore you too much again with it. But once you put the glow plug in, a bit of compression. You can hear it. There it goes. So now we're ready to install it on the base. Three huge cap head screws. That's it. And then we can hook up the throttle linkage and make sure that it's all correct. And, uh, you know, when it's in the lowest position, it is represented here. And when you're flooring it, you're giving it full chooch on the loud pedal, you want to make sure that's open all the way. So I'll install it with these three screws and then we'll move on to the next step. Alright, I installed everything off camera, it's really easy. Three wires here for your brush motor, can't go wrong there. You have your two tubes here. The bottom one is your feed and that goes to your carburetor. The top one is your pressure and that follows through. It's got nicely routed the bottom here. Comes up through the little opening just here, get onto the exhaust just there. Now on this side you just got to attach the earth and also that's your wire for your glow plug. Really easy. Looks cool, eh? It's so neat and it's just... That's it, that's the package, that's ready to go. Now the final thing, once you get it all installed, you need to attach your linkage here for the throttle. That was in the first step but I left it out to the end. That's pretty easy. When you install in the uh, linkage, you've got to make sure that your throttle linkage you know, loosen it up and make sure when it's fully in the closed position, so idle, this is running pretty much parallel with the bench or with the bottom of the plate here because that represents this. So you can see that's the lowest point. And when you open it up, you know, idle and it ramps up in the RPM just like that. So it's got to make sure that's correct and feed it through this little bottom channel. And that is it. Now I think all we need to do, I'll get some, I'll have some 20% nitro. Let's fill it up, 
put the two 18650 batteries in there and give it its first test. All right, filled up with 20% nitro, roughly about uh, just over halfway to a little fuel gauge here. So let's get it going. I have started just to make sure everything works. So, you know, you can tune it as much as you will. So push button. <laughs> now, obviously you can adjust it. It's running pretty rich at the moment. That's your main uh, adjustment screw there. And this is your idle screw. So you can play around as you will. But... <laughs> I love getting these idling really low. Really cool. As you can see, when you uh, stop the button, the starter motor stops spinning. How oh, awesome are they? Nice little sort of running motor. It's running really rich. Only the second time I started it. And yes, I don't have an air filled up. The uh, normal one just keeps flying off. <laughs> That's how low we can get it. What do you guys reckon? I think I'll be putting this into another car. They run really well. Now this bike here is for the excess oil, and it'll just drain out. It's good to get like a little jar if you want, but uh, pretty cool. I love this fuel tank for aluminium. There's a level there. You can adjust it, obviously it's going to run much better once it's, you know, Run a few times, and you can obviously lean it out. Just like that, but you know, I do that off camera. How yeah, cool are they? Let's uh, start it again. To turn it off, you can just put your finger over the uh, carburetor, just like that. But here, look how rich it is. You can see all the uh, excess oil. So let's start it back up. Push button. Done. Freaking love these things. And see what I mean about the base being nice and heavy? It doesn't like vibrate off of this. That's why it's nice and heavy. Awesome. That's another way to pinch a fuel line. Hope you guys like it, guys. What do you think? I think I will be putting this into another car. Not too sure exactly, but I do have, you know, I do have a few of them now. And I have some, I have one in the, uh, the crawler. Check that video out. And also one in that truck. And also the one I need to get onto is the V4 in this Frankenstein looking uh, hot rod, wrap rod kind of car. But anyway... Links in the description if you want to go check it out. It is really cool, and like I said, you don't have to leave it on here. You can lob this out, get use that fuel tank, use a starting system, and obviously use the um, the motor and make your own project. Pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said, you'll get this running really good. This is only second time, pretty much started. Lean it out, do what you want, and you can always adjust the uh, the idle and all that kind of good stuff. But hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Like I said, if you haven't, please subscribe and um, yeah. Have fun, I'll see you, and see you in the next video.